everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and I forgot to film an intro to this video so <laughs> probably gonna look a little bit different throughout the video but I just wanted to pop in and say you know hey how you doing? <laughs> I'm on the hunt for that perfect summer foundation. I really want to find like a very lightweight but high coverage natural finish looking foundation and this looked like a good contender. Today I'm going to be doing a full day wear test and review of the Dream Urban Cover Foundation by Maybelline. We'll see throughout this video what this wears like, what it sits on the skin like, is it good for oily skin, is it not? Oh, if I didn't mention Hi, I, I'm Kirielle, I have very oily skin. <laughs> you can get this at Superdrug, Boots, online at ASOS, Feel Unique. This is quite widely available online and in store. It's selling for around $10.99, but usually Maybelline and things like that do go on offer, so keep your eyes out if you are looking to purchase it. But yeah, I just wanted to go through the claims of this foundation. So first of all, it's apparently the first full coverage foundation to combine SPF 50. So it's got a lot of sun protection. It's supposed to be smooth, light, light and easy to apply and it's supposed to help form a shield to defend your skin from pollution so it's got like anti-pollution stuff in it. It's supposed to be full coverage and it comes in 20 different shades which isn't the most amount of shades but it's a decent shade range. It does seem to be quite even in the shade range as well. Hopefully you'll be able to find yours. Definitely could go deeper though. It's supposed to give flawless natural looking skin. So we shall see. I had the shade 95 Fair Porcelain which is the paler shade. So yeah without further ado let's time travel and see old Kirielle. What does she think? How did it wear? Let's see. <laughs> Alright, so I've already primed, moisturised, all that fun stuff. I've actually been using this primer by Origins. I've been loving this stuff. It has like a cooling effect on the skin. It feels so freaking good. It like smooths out everything, feels really lightweight and like aerated. I actually tested this out in a video, which if you guys saw my anti-haul video that I did recently, it was the makeup I was wearing then, but I managed to delete the footage. <laughs> so, quick little update. I tried this. It's good. I really like it. Such an amazing YouTuber. <laughs> if you'd like me to film that makeup again, please just leave a thumbs up on the video and I'll refilm it for you guys to show you what I used and everything. But yeah, silly old me just deleted the footage. So it's in the abyss somewhere and I can't get it back. <laughs> As per usual with my foundation reviews, I'm gonna be doing a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. I've been loving this stippling brush, which is by Revolution Pro and this sponge is by Sports FX. If I remember correctly, the shade seemed pretty promising in store. So hopefully it's gonna be good. And this is the shade 95 Fair Porcelain. It sounds very liquidy in there. Let's just check the consistency on my little glass palette here. Oh, it's got a little weird tip thing. This reminds me of the L'Oreal Infallible foundation. It comes in a component like this. And let's just see how liquidy it is. Huh. It's actually not as liquidy as I thought it was going to be. Like it is quite liquidy, but I thought it was going to be like watery for some reason. <laughs> this does look quite yellow based. I'm hoping this isn't going to oxidize because it does look like a promising color. Let's just color match to my chest a little. Look at here. Mm, it is pulling a little bit pinky on my chest, but it's not completely unforgiving. I'm hoping once it's on my face because I've got a lot of redness and stuff, it'll kind of like balance out maybe. But yeah, you can kind of see it on my chest there. I'm just so goddamn pale. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to applying it to my face. See how much coverage I can get on here. Ooh, my skin feels very smooth with that primer. Um, hmm. I know this has SPF 50 in it, but it smells very much like it. <laughs> so I can smell the sunscreen in this. It's probably just gonna have flashback. Okay, so I've just used a few dots of what was on my palette. I've still got quite a bit on there. It's quite a slippy kind of formula. I'm gonna use my sponge on the side. See how much coverage we can get because it does say full coverage. Really easy to blend. And I feel like I have nothing on my skin right now. But it also kind of looks that way. <laughs> so that was so easy to blend but it does look like I've pretty much done nothing. It's even up my redness a little bit. You can still see all my freckles coming through. So I'm just gonna go in with my sponge with the product instead of putting it on my face then tapping it on and see if we can get any better coverage. You can really smell the sunscreen in this. I feel like the undertone has kind of mellowed out a little bit now that it's on my face and it's not too orange or pink. It looks it looks pretty good. The texture isn't like emphasized or anything, but it's not doing anything for it. <laughs> Coverage has built up a little bit, but I can still see like my freckles coming through. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the brush now and see if I get more coverage. Gone through everything on here, so I'm just gonna pump out a little bit more. Just add some to my face. It feels pretty much like I'm just putting moisturizer on my skin. I'm gonna hand this out. 
it is super duper easy to blend. It is quite a runny formula and it's very thin, so it's just easy to blend really. So I feel like the brush has given me just about the same amount of coverage with one layer as the sponge, but it's not quite laying the same. It's kind of collecting in my pores on this side of my face. I'll come in closer so hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna go over this so hopefully it stops that from happening. Yeah, the sponge just helped it a little bit. It doesn't have that weird like spottiness going on anymore. I did have a spot on my chin by here and I didn't realize I had dry skin and this foundation is kind of accentuating the dry skin a little. I'm just gonna finish off my forehead real quick because I neglected it. <laughs> I'd say the shade is pretty good. It's slightly dark, but the undertone is decent so I can get away with it being slightly darker because it's not, you know, obviously orange compared to my chest. So the color is pretty good. I'm just gonna bring it down though, just, you know, to make sure. <laughs> as far as finish, it looks like a pretty natural foundation. There's a little bit of a glow to my skin, but I'm not dewy. I wouldn't say it's dried down, but it's set, if that makes sense. Like my skin isn't really tacky anymore, but I don't wanna go touching my face too much because I feel like it'll come off, you know? I do like the way that my skin is looking. I can see my like skin texture and stuff, like my pores, a little bit visible but nothing drastic but my skin is evened out really nicely and yeah i i would wear this again depending how it wears throughout the day so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then i'll check back in with you guys so see you in a sec all right guys so i've almost done my makeup i just need to put on my mascara which is downstairs so i thought i'll just quickly do my check-in now it's currently half past one but i did finish up my actual base makeup around five two so we'll just call the check-in one o'clock i know that it's kind of late in the day but i do stay up quite late so i'll still get a decent amount of wear of this foundation but i'm quite liking the way that my skin is looking right now. I did set it because I felt like it still needed to be set. It was just a little bit tacky. So I set it down with a little bit of powder and then I had no problem blending all of my bronzer blush and everything like that over top. It looks pretty good right now. Again, it's not my favorite foundation because it hasn't really like smoothed over my skin or anything. You can still see my skin texture. But I mean, that doesn't bother me too much because you know, it's skin, I've got pores, texture, the lot. I'm a normal human being, funnily enough. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It had a decent amount of coverage. Oh, it's my bobble. But yeah, I'm gonna go about the rest of my day and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick check-in. I've changed. I'm about to walk up the door. I'm going out um, But I just wanted to give a quick check-in on the foundation. My phone is dead So I can't tell you the time <laughs> but it's currently 20 to 8 on my laptop over there I could see it. So this has been on for about coming up to seven hours So I am very 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 oily as you could probably tell my face is just shine central right now But it hasn't separated which is good so my face is still fully covered it's just very very shiny <laughs> I don't usually do this but I'm gonna take my powder brush this hasn't got any other powder on it and I'm just gonna see if I can like blot down a little bit just because I am going out so you know if I was this shiny I would definitely blot <laughs> but it still looks good on the skin you can still see like my blush and a bit of my bronzer it has kind of disappeared a little bit but as far as texture coverage it's looking pretty good it is starting to break down a little bit around my nose slightly it's maybe settling in a little bit on my smile line right back here but apart from that it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna wear this for a few more hours and then I'll check back in and we'll see what my face is looking like, whether it's broken down and looks greasy as heck. <laughs> I imagine by my face right now it will. <laughs> but yeah, I shall see you guys in a second in your time. It'll be a few hours in mine. So, <laughs> see you later. Hi guys, this is gonna be my final check in. I really need to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. But I've got to hop in the bath and then go to bed and then I'm up early. Ah, <sighs> the joys. <laughs> I haven't even looked at my face and I've also eaten so if I've got lipstick everywhere, please excuse it. <laughs> it's currently 20 past 12 in the evening. So this foundation has been on for coming up to 12 hours. So this has had a very long wear test. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm excited to wash my face. Well, let's take a quick look up close and personal. So apart from literally my whole face just being an oil slick, <laughs> my actual face is still all covered. Again, there's no separation. It's not disappeared from anywhere, which is kind of crazy when I'm giving off this much oil, if you know what I mean. It has collected around my nose area and it's still kind of showing the dry patch on my skin a little. My smile line, as it's kind of become oily, it's not settling any longer, but I mean, as as you can see, I'm just literally sopping wet. <laughs> 
I don't think this one is really oily girl friendly. I could touch up and wear it for longer, but I have a feeling it would just feel heavy if I added more products on top. I do like the coverage. I like the finish. It has worn very well, even though I am an oil slick. I think this is more one that I would wear when I know I'm not going to need it on for that long, but I want my skin to look nice. Also, it is very lightweight and very full coverage with very little product. When I've been wearing it throughout the day, I haven't felt like I've had anything on my skin. I only feel kind of heavy now because of all my oils and everything like that have come through. I think if I tried maybe more of an oil controlling primer, I'd be better off and it might last me a little bit longer and it wouldn't look so crazy oily. <laughs> Literally, I look like I've just dunked my face in water. But apart from that, I'd say my skin still looks pretty good. And also the shade has an oxidized. It's a pretty decent shade, especially for drugstore and especially for it only having like 20 shades. I'm pretty impressed that I'm one of them. <laughs> But yeah, that is it for this first impressions wear test review. I'm gonna keep searching for that perfect summer fresh face foundation and I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the red button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up so I know. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. So, so I'm gonna, I think if I tried maybe more of a,